Bigfoot, Bob Chandler's original killer that started the monster truck revolution. Two of the original machines in this sport are prepared for the greatest showdown ever. ESPN, the world leader in motorsports coverage, presents Speed World. Welcome, everybody, to Tampa Stadium in Tampa, Florida. I'm Brett Kepner, and in just moments, we'll be getting underway with one of the most incredible super truck shootouts ever. Bigfoot, Barefoot, Gravedigger, Equalizer, all in competition for the ultimate King of the Hill battle. Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Chapman at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. The fans are filing in right now where they're going to see some of the most awesome two-wheel drive pulling competition in the world. We're going to see two family teams, the Sullivans and the McPhersons. There's going to be four drivers, and they're going to battle it out for the title of family champ. It'll include one of the toughest rivalries in the entire sport of monster truck racing, Taurus and Barefoot. Plus, don't forget about the rest of the U.S. Hobbit Association killers already trying to qualify for this event. Welcome to the 1991 Monster Truck Challenge Series. A 300 foot long straightaway. Followed by a 180-degree complete U-turn in a span of only 20 feet. And then a return over the same initial 300-foot distance. It will take a minor miracle for the guys with independent front and rear steering to make that turn just once, let alone through qualifying and eliminations. The new nightlife Chevrolet makes the turn with some difficulty. In fact, a lot of difficulty as the machine stumbles coming out of that 180-degree turn. The elapsed time, 23.82 seconds. The Bigfoot Ford, this truck and driver, knows what it takes to win this battle. And the original mustard truck driver performs it flawlessly. The elapsed time, 12.15 seconds. Also out of the St. Louis, Missouri area is Ray Perkowski's gorgeous new Invader Ford. And any driver who has never had to go through a complete 180-degree turn like this has got to be scared stiff at the prospect of controlling both the steering wheel and the rear axle steering toggle switch at the same time while giving it gas against the clock. 19.70 seconds, the first time ever that Dennis Anderson has brought the incredible Gravedigger Chevrolet to Tampa, Florida, inside Tampa Stadium, and they love every minute of it. The Kill Devil Hills North Carolina veteran has a huge following of fans in the southeast, let alone the rest of the country. Problems on the first set of crush cars. Anderson is having a dismal time. Something goes away in the drivetrain or transmission. Ron Dennis and the no problem Ford Bronco pulls to the starting line. We asked Ron who he thought was going to be the toughest to run against tonight. All eight of them, you know, they're going to be tough. I mean, all eight of us are in the top trucks in the country, so it's anybody's ball game, but I'm going to win. <laughs> I hope, yes. Well, you've already seen Ron Dennis win one event on Super Tracks this year. It was in the state of Florida. Maybe that's a good sign. He takes the no problem Bronco around the turn very nicely still you can see him cranking the wheel in the cockpit there's a tremendous amount of physical effort 17.59 seconds but here's the big blue chevy the man who has one of the toughest rivalries going with both bigfoot and the taurus team it's fred shaper's illinois based barefoot supercharged chevy absolutely picture perfect 12.09 seconds Jack Wilman Jr. at the wheel of Taurus leaves the line and heads for the turn. Another picture perfect turnaround. A nose dive at the finish line. 12.78 seconds. 19-year-old Greg Holbrook out of the state of Tennessee in the rear-engined equalizer GMC. And he oversteers coming out of the turn. That's where the physical aspect of this course comes in. 
the elapsed time 15.16 seconds for the kid so barefoot ends up the winner of the first half of the battle but with bigfoot only six hundredths of a second behind and taurus almost as close don't you dare go away We've seen an incredible qualifying war, but now it's driver versus driver. It'll be Ron Dennis, the hot new pilot of John Moore's Tennessee-based No Problem Ford Bronco, taking on the toughest truck in the business. Fred Schaefer and the Barefoot Chevrolet, your number one and five qualifiers. A picture-perfect turn, and Fred Schaefer makes it all up in the second half. Dennis got the whole shot, but Schaefer was able to negotiate that awesome spinning turn. That will bring out certainly one of the crowd favorites, the incredible grave digger of Dennis Anderson and the Taurus Chevrolet. Anderson sideways almost misses the turn entirely. And it's Wilman that pulls off the turn immaculately. And the Taurus Chevrolet goes to round number two. The brand new 1991 Ford of St. Louis's Ray Perkowski will take on the Ford that made St. Louis famous. Bob Chandler's incredible Bigfoot with the number one team driver, Jim Kramer, behind the wheel. They go into the turn, and Kramer has problems in Bigfoot, but Perkowski has bigger problems in the far lane. Kramer actually stumbled coming out of the turn. Perkowski's invader actually lost fire in the middle of it. We have just received word that apparently the Equalizer Chevrolet suffered damage during its qualifying run, and that means a dream come true for first-year campaigner Smozank in the nightlife Chevrolet. He will get a free ride, a single run into the semi-final round with the likes of Bigfoot, Barefoot, and Taurus. Having recently purchased this truck from the Wysoric Racing Team, the new owner of the Nightlife Chevrolet will put it right into the final four of his first major U.S. Hot Rod Association championship event. And he just eases it through the paces to move into the semi-final round. But you want to talk about a war? He's got to take on the Bigfoot Ford when we return. The final four do battle in Tampa. Don't you dare go away.